Hi guys, Christina here. So, I'm back with a skincare routine video. Some of you guys requested for my skincare routine, so here I am filming it for you. My skincare routine is very basic. I don't use any special products or anything. These are, I think, all from the drugstore or you can find mostly you can find in the drugstore just a disclaimer i'm not saying i have perfect skin i don't i have blemishes i have red spots and i get pimples especially if it's at that time of the month i was supposed to film this video before my favorites video but then when I got back from Palawan, my skin got irritated because I was exposed to the sun every like for four consecutive, five consecutive days. Plus, I was packing on a lot of sunblock because I don't want to get burnt. Plus, the seawater and the wind, everything. So I was like outside every day. That irritated my skin. I have very oily to combination skin. There are like dry spots as well. Plus, it's very sensitive. Just quickly though, a moisturizer and cleanser that I use at night is different from the one I use in the morning because at night I want my moisturizer to be more hydrating and cleanser I want something that can remove makeup so that's why I change it for night but anyway I'll show you guys what I use both at night and during the day right so let's get started the clips that I'm gonna show you guys will be my nighttime routine because I just have more steps at night compared to in the morning. I always start my night, I'll remove my makeup first. Currently, I have three micellar water. Depending on how much makeup I have on my face, if I have very light makeup day, then I'll use the green tea makeup remover from Miniso. Then during days that I have more makeup or thicker makeup on my face, then I'll remove them with the Maybelline New York Micellar Water. It removes all makeup and UV products, hydrates, removes trap dirt, dust, refined pores, freshen like a toner. No need to rinse, it says, but for me, I still rinse after. And it's suitable for sensitive skin, which I have. As you can see, I'm almost done with this one. And I have this because I just wanted to try it as well. And so far, I like it. It's still a bit full, as you can see. But more or less, these two are almost the same. I like them both. Then, once I remove all my makeup, I'll cleanse using the Fischo Gel Hypoallergenic Calming Relief Gentle Cream Cleanser. This cleanser is for dry, sensitive, redness prone skin. I use this because it's just perfect for sensitive skin and redness prone skin which I have. Although my skin is very oily. But there are certain times that my skin becomes very dry too. So medyo confusing siya. So I just use this because very gentle sha on my skin and it removes makeup, dirt, and impurities. Even after I remove my makeup using my cellar water, I would still cleanse because I want to make sure that everything's removed from my face, all the makeup. On the clip, you'll see na hindi to nagba bubble. Para lang siyang makeup remover, but it's a cleanser. It's very gentle. Some people might might not like it because parang feeling mo walang nalilinis. Pero for me, I feel like it's very effective. And after I wash this, hindi siya drying. Because I tried cleansers for oily skin and yung mga nagbabubble talaga. And most of the time, after washing, I feel like parang sobrang dry ng skin ko which I don't like. So yeah, that's why I switched to this. Now in the morning naman, I use a different cleanser. It's the same from the same brand. This is the Fischo Gel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Dermal Cleanser for dry and sensitive skin. It's mild and gentle cleanser, pH balance and soap free. 
Again, iwas ako sa mga may soap na products for my face kasi nga, it's very sensitive. I just feel na ito, very gentle siya on my face. I use this in the morning because it's just mild lang since na-remove ko na naman the makeup the night before. So, in the morning, it's just okay for me to use this. Just to remove yung mga products that I've applied the night before. This next product I use once or twice a week depending on the need. So I use the Natural Aqua Gel by the brand Cure to basically scrub my face and remove the impurities or dead skin cells. I don't use this a lot just when I feel I need it. I got this like months ago, but more than more than six months ago and I still have some left. Got this from Beauty Bar. So I scrub this after I cleanse my face and I wash it off before I move on to the next step. Next, I tone my skin. I use the Celatec Hydration Alcohol Free Toner with Witch Hazel Extract. I believe they have another one which is for oily skin but I don't use that because it's just too harsh for my skin. So I just use the alcohol free toner. As much as possible, I shy away from product na may alcohol because nga of my sensitive skin and it's really prone to redness so it can be too harsh for my skin. So this is tested for sensitive to dry skin and it's also fragrance free. After that, I apply my eye cream. The eye cream that I'm using in the morning is different from the one I use at night. At night, I use the Pond's Gold Radiance Youth Reviving Eye Cream with Real Gold Micro Particles. I feel like it's effective naman and I can really see na my gold particles talaga siya around my eyes. So yeah, just to reduce the eye bags and dark under eye circle. Then in the morning, I use the Pond's Age Miracle Eye Cream. So this is dual action eye cream. It has two sides. The one on top, yung pink, that's for the lid. And then the white one is for the under eye area. The reason I really like this in the morning is because after applying this, I can really see na parang na blur out yung some of the dark ng under eye area ko. So after that, I'll just wait for the eye cream to sink in sa skin ko. Then I'll apply my moisturizer. So for moisturizer, at night, I apply a different moisturizer. I apply the facial gel hypoallergenic calming relief face cream rich for very dry sensitive redness prone skin. So this is actually the same as the cleanser. Parang mag sister sila. <laughs> it visibly reduces dryness, irritation, and redness. Immediately relieves very dry, tight skin. Promotes long-lasting moisturization. No preservatives, perfume, colorants. So I like applying this at night because it really is very gentle. Chaka it hydrates my skin. After applying it, talagang I can feel na very moisturizing siya. Like right now, you can see parang oily ang skin ko, right? It looks oily. But I don't mind that because I'll go to bed na right after. And I want my face to feel hydrated when it's bedtime. Para when I wake up, very hydrated pa rin yung skin ko. Hindi siya dry. And then in the morning naman, I use the Fisher Gel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy Body Lotion. Actually, body lotion siya. But I use this for my face in the morning. Kasi it's, again, very gentle. It's made to relieve dry, tight skin, make skin less sensitive which I need on my face. This works for me for some reason. That's the last step. At night, I just, you know, go to bed after. And then in the morning naman, I'll wait for the moisturizer to sink into skin ko. 
before I apply my makeup. So yeah, that's my skincare routine. It's a very simple and very basic lang. Six steps lang siya. And on top of my skincare routine, I make sure to at least get a facial once or twice a month. Kasi nagkaklog yung pores ko because I wear makeup almost every day. And that's one way for me to make sure na yung pores ko hindi nagkaklog. Or if it's clogged, then at least I get those removed so yeah that's it guys i hope you find this helpful and i'm doing a q a video soon if you have any questions that you want to ask please visit my last video or the video before this and leave your questions there i'll collate them and answer them on my q a video and also follow me on instagram facebook and snapchat i have posted some sneak peek of the items i'll be giving away next for my birthday giveaway and 1k giveaway Again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye!